Hey, this is Mark, and today I have a uh, board from uh, DJI Phantom 3 uh, camera gimbal. Uh, so clearly, this uh, board has gotten pretty wrecked. Um, so connector has popped off. Um, I was hoping a lot of times when you have these drone uh, crash drone board repairs, the connectors are still reusable. They're still in good shape. They just kind of pop off of the board um, and sometimes pull a pad like this. But a lot of times you can reuse the connector. In this case, I couldn't. So I had to hunt down new connectors, which I was able to find. Um, thanks to the good folks at our Ask Electronics, um, I was able to find that these are JST GH connectors. Um, so once I got once I got wind of the correct manufacturer, I was able to go through their website and find that these were the GH style connectors. Um, so then I could source these on uh, DigiKey was where I ended up finding them. Um, so got the correct connector to replace it with. Um, we've got one pulled pad to deal with, uh, and this is probably okay. Yeah, that's going to be okay. That one's fine. All right. So let's get to work. This should be a pretty quick and easy, straightforward job. Whoops, there we go. been avoiding using these uh, hot tweezers as much as possible um, because as you can probably see um, broken one of the tips off so kind of a pain in the ass all right so we got our jumper wire in place we'll just clean up the flux And I'm going to shave that down a little bit. I, th I don't like the amount that that's sticking up. We'll just touch that up again. There we go. I like that a little better. Get this cleaned up, get the flux off, 
Then we'll lay down a little bit of green goop. A little bit of the UV solder mask. And this, I'm not so much worried about any bridging or anything. This isn't kind of, this, this isn't, I'm um, not putting it on for electrical reasons. I'm putting it on for structural reasons. Um, meaning I want this to kind of work as a glue to hold that jumper in place so that there's much less chance of it shifting when I solder the uh, other end of it onto the leg of the uh, new connector. So we'll go ahead and cure that. I should just take a couple of seconds. While that's curing, I will get the new connector out. All right, that should do it. Okay. Now I'm just going to solder down a couple of the pins and then I'm going to go after the anchors once I've kind of got it tacked into place the way I want it. Ah, come on. Get the way that I want you to be. There we go. Whoops. There we go. All right, we got those guys down there good now. Now I can kind of focus on these anchors. I want to get these, make sure I get these really good because uh, this type of connector looks like it, there's going to be a significant amount of friction um, in plugging and un unplugging it. So I want to make sure there's no chance of it being pulled off the board. So I want to get these, uh, these ground kind of anchor joints here uh, really soldered well. All right. There we go. That's a nice fat joint there. Yeah, I like the looks of that. This one maybe we could get even a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. That looks very nice. Okay. Now we just got to do up these pins, which I will switch back over to my hot tweezers for. I do much prefer my hot tweezers for doing any kind of pins on any kind of connector. It's just kind of feels like it's what they were made for.
All right, got all of our pins done. Now I just have to do the one that needs the jumper. That should do it. Wiggle that jumper around and see. Good, it's not moving from under the pin, so I know it's soldered well. Break off the excess, and, and now we're done. These joints all look good. I'm happy with that. Those two in the middle could have been a little more perfect, but nobody will ever know. Except for the people that watch my YouTube channel, but I know both of you guys will never tell anybody. Anchor joints all look great. So, let's see. Flush with the board. Yep. All right. That is a nice, quick, easy job. Love these broken drone jobs. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.